we understand that pain is a really complex phenomenon where there are changes throughout the nervous system that influence the interpretation that a person has on the um, sensory information that's coming from their body but also the, their attitudes, their beliefs and, and other, other components that all come together to influence a person's perception of pain. It's not just a, um, a the pain a person experiences isn't just a reflection of how much nociceptive input they get from their tissues. It's far, far more than that. But the other aspect of the amazing plasticity in the nervous system is how, how the nervous system adapts in terms of movement function. That when pain is present, when nociceptive stimulation is, parent, is present, or when there's the threat of pain, people move differently. They use their um, they use their muscles differently, they use their bodies differently and this is associated with the complete reorganisation of the way the motor system functions and that has a really important impact on, on exercise. So the, the two aspects of how a nervous system deals with pain and how it creates pain and how it influences movement are both incredibly important when we're trying to design the appropriate intervention, whether we target physical parameters or whether we target psychosocial parameters all of that needs to be decided if we're going to most appropriately manage back pain patients.